welcome back to my channel. So, I'm off to Milan today and I'm so excited and I'm gonna vlog the whole trip. I'm off to Milan for my birthday trip. My boyfriend's taking me, I'm so excited. We're going for four nights, five? Four nights, five? Try and wear the heaviest clothes that I'm taking because my bag, I'm severely unpacked. Like I've packed four dresses and I know I'm not gonna wear a dress. I just know I'm not gonna wear a dress the whole time I'm here. I don't know why I packed it. My sisters and seekers tracksuit with my Zara leather jacket. I can guarantee you there is gonna be 10 plus girls at the airport wearing this jacket. I've got my little brand new headphones to match. If you know, you know, I'm so excited about these. My boyfriend gave them to me like 11 o'clock last night, made me wait all day and gave them to me. And I was like, what the fuck? But it's to take to Milan, so I've got these. Okay guys, we are on the plane. Um, we didn't book seats together, stupidly. Not my stupidly. Accident. Stupidly. Um, we didn't book it together, but a woman really kindly swapped with him. So I might send her a drink, because I feel really bad. Okay, I'm doing a room tour now, so don't forget. But this is our room. I haven't been in here yet. <gasps> oh, it's got a bath, guys. It's got a bath. Nice walk-in wardrobe. And then that's the bed. I've just opened the window. This is a little desk area. And then look at this giant mirror. How nice is that? Got your mini fridge, etc. But this is so nice. Okay. Guys, we ordered McDonald's. If you want to see a taste test, go to my TikTok. But this is the aftermath. It was delicious. I've got really bad chest pains right now, so I think we just want to chill. And sleep so that we can get up early i may or may not be on the toilet right now because i can't be bothered to move but i've run a bath because i figured out that my chest pains are my costochondritis but for now i've got to have a bath which may or may not ruin my town but i'm taking the risk because i'm in pain <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna have a bath and i actually am going to sleep now so i'll see you in the morning good morning this is the observatory guys this is the starbucks reserve this is the bougie Starbucks for the scene. How is this Starbucks? Literally how? This is what we went for guys. Got two of these. And then a cold brew and a latte. And look how cool it is in here. I love it. Different coffees you can buy in the Starbucks. And they're all just there. Guys, we're in bait. Well, we're in end actually, but it's a huge bait section. I love it. Oh, I like that hat. Okay, guys, we made it to the cathedral. We went into end, as you saw, and now we're at the cathedral. Look how pretty it is. It's nice and sunny. It's not that warm. This is the famous cathedral. We're actually going up there tomorrow, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up there. It's really cute, guys. Look how busy it is. That's Min Zara some really cute bits in here. I'm not gonna buy it, I don't think, but there's this crop blazer and I've wanted a crop blazer for literally the longest time. Like I can't even tell you how long I've wanted a crop blazer, especially a good quality one. So I might buy this, might not. Okay guys, we've come for a little spot of lunch. Quite early lunch actually, big up. What a freak. A beer and a Coke and over there, it's the cathedral. We literally sat right next to it. So pretty. This is the gallery. Look how pretty it is. It's literally stunning. This is where all the designer shops are. I feel like I said it wrong, but the gallery, yeah. Louis Vuitton. Cute. Hey guys, we're in the shopping center now. I'm not sure where we are, but she's in the Fan of Sephora. You already know I'm going in. It's literally so pretty. Such a nice day. It's also sunny the whole time we're here, minus Friday. Okay, guys, we're queuing for gelato. This is how big the queue is in front of us. But it's meant to be pretty, pretty good, so. I'm so hot. Guys, I found a Primark. I forced my boyfriend to come in with me. I love Primark and I reckon it's going to be really cheap because Zara was so cheap. I did buy some bits, but Zara was really cheap, so I'm thinking Primark's going to be cheap. Uh. Hey guys! Okay, so we're going to dinner. 
fast forward, we did go back to the hotel on the subway, had a nap-ish, got ready, now we're going to dinner. This is my outfit. I feel really bouge, but a bit overdressed to walk through the streets. Um, but I'm really excited and I can't wait to show the dinner spot. Although you're not allowed to film in there, so I don't know what I can film. Fingers crossed, I can show you all our yummy food. This is where we are, guys. You're really not allowed to film, but I'm gonna try. It's literally stunning. I'm obsessed. We are back from our meal. I had a lovely time, lovely day, stunning company. I was slightly underwhelmed by the famous Calce Pepe pasta. I couldn't film it. Guys, they honestly got really weird about pictures, but like there was people in there with like a full on like ring light. So then I was like, fuck it, let's take some flash photos. Didn't like that. So I just gave up in the end. I don't know if I got any nice pics. I'll insert here if I like any. But yeah, it was really nice. I do recommend it. It is a bit expensive. I'll be honest, it is quite expensive, but the burrata was insane. And then we had this like delicious chocolate tiramisu, which I'm gonna leave here. But yeah, it was, it was nice. It was really nice. The ambiance was stunning. You can see all the chefs making your food and everything. It was so, so nice. I did feel a bit anxious this morning, I'm not gonna lie. And then I took, I took one of these. So it's a calms tablet. I've never taken calms before. So you know, like <laughs> my anxious girlies will understand, but you know, when you take something you've never eaten before, drank before, any medication, anything like that, you genuinely like convince yourself you're allergic to it and that you're making yourself ill. That's what I did for the first like two hours of the day. I've been around lavender all my life. I'm not allergic to lavender, but you do convince yourself that you're allergic. Um, so that's what I did with these, but I took a tablet today and it's safe to say I had overall a pretty calm, non-anxious day, but I literally bought them in boots the other day and they were six pounds, which isn't bad. And you get, I think 24. 24, oh no, you get 14 capsules. So, not bad. What are you doing? What? Yeah, he took me. Sugar daddy. What? Go get it then. Don't care. Not my problem. Did you get that? I forgot to literally tell you. You know, last night I was filming my McDonald's mukbang, guys. TikTok erased all the footage of me eating my McDonald's and it was literally eight minutes of footage gone. All I've got is the 30 second opener. I'm absolutely gutted because we literally spent 50 euros on food and everything to make this video sick and it's gone. It's gone forever. Good morning guys. So I was in a rush this morning so I can fill you in on what we were doing. But we're currently at the train station. And we're going to Lecomo and it's really confusing this station obviously because it's all in italian so we're now just waiting in line to get a ticket we're gonna chill out for an hour and then we're gonna get the train these sandwiches guys okay we're in the cafe in the station i had a full-on debate with this woman about what i ordered but obviously i don't speak italian so i was like okay I've got a muffin though this is a cinnamon twist muffin, flip. And then this is literally just a hamburger. Pretty boring, and she told me it's better cold, but I had it hot. Guys, it is truly stunning here. It's so peaceful. You can literally see down into the water. And this woman is getting so close to the swan. But honestly, this is the most gorgeous place ever. It's just so pretty. You can get that ferry over there that's moving. You can get back to all the other villages. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that or not. Um, so pretty. I probably even gave you a flick check today, but I'm literally wearing a white crop top, leather, famous, basic girl, leather jacket from Zara, and then some Zara cargoes, which I'm obsessed with. They're low-waisted. And you know, everyone like is so scared of low-waisted, like 
bloat, etc, etc. They genuinely have the like the most perfect level of low wasted. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they're just like perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Diesel bag is her first outing today, actually. I haven't worn it yet. First outing. We are walking back through the little villages. So basically where the lake was, where we are, it's like the main thing. And then you've got all these little quaint little lanes. They have restaurants and stuff down here. It's really, really pretty and cute. gone in, put a hoodie on, still wearing the same outfit, just a hoodie, put some lip gloss on, and now we're off for dinner. We're going to Oristio, I don't want to pronounce it wrong, but it is pretty viral on TikTok at the minute, um, and it's meant to be really, really good. It's like grandmas, they make the pasta in front of you. It's meant to be incredible, I'm so excited. So I'll bring you along. It's definitely more of a casual dinner than last night, so I'm excited. Just that's where the ladies make all the pasta. We made the decision to leave because I am in pain. Like this happened to me the very first night and I was out cold all night. So we're gonna attempt to go back there tomorrow, get some snacks and maybe order some food to the hotel because honestly, I can't let go of my rib right now. Guys, okay, so I left you earlier when we were trying to get home from us queuing in the restaurant to us not actually going to the restaurant because I felt so unwell. We're now back at the hotel room. I'm in my pajamas. I feel so unwell. I'm so annoyed at myself. Um, I've just got really bad chest pains, really bad rib pains. My chest is like super inflamed. And oh my god, guys! Right, I had a bath. I'm all nice and clean. Thought this is really going to help me. When I felt unwell when we were in the queue, I was like, my legs feel really tingly and like like sting. And it almost felt like pins and needles. So I was like, oh, I'm sure I'm fine. Got back to the hotel room, took my jeans off, ran a bath, put my feet in the bath. And honestly, my legs stung so much, like so much. It, I was like in pain. They stung so hard. And I was like, what is going on? And I look and the back of my legs are like so red and like raw, like it looks sore. And I was like, what is going on? And they still are a bit red, but I think the jeans that I was wearing to have given me some weird reaction on my legs and I'm really confused by it. He's back with the food. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm in, I'm stinging and my ribs are inflamed and I wanna- Date night, yeah. <laughs> I want a back massage and I want a cuddle and I want to go to sleep. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm really sorry that this has been quite a short day. Just thought I'd quickly show you the food because it literally just came. But I got like a whole array because I'm not very hungry. Look at these churros. Yum. Um, this massive burger. Jesus Christ. morning guys okay so it is our last day in milan well basically last day we ha it's the friday so it's our last night in milan we have got all of tomorrow um we're actually just currently outside the hotel this is what the outside of the hotel looks like by the way I'm showing you actually the hotel but like it's surrounded by all these tall buildings as you can see here it looks like the shard um i've got already i literally hate my makeup in the morning and then by the end of the day i'm like oh it looks good wearing my new hoodie i got ready quite quick actually and now we're just waiting for an uber because i'm taking him for brekkie um to this place everyone recommends it when they come here it's called the dome it's like very aesthetic the menu's not very big but yeah that's where i'm taking him this is the view and we're sat in these like basket things like over so cute. I'm sat in this like basket thing. So cute. I'm obsessed. Um, breakfast has finished, so we're getting lunch. Guys, look at my hot chocolate. And then he got a cappuccino, but he has to pour his coffee in. It's very interesting. This is mine. I got mini burgers, and he got a club sandwich. 
This is the aftermath. Delish. That's the cathedral over there. Is it she's stunning? How pretty. Left breakfast. So there's the cathedral again. We're just heading down to end, which is apparently down here. But I think he's wrong. Um, how pretty. I like his outfit today. Look, I'm just showing your outfit, not your face. I like his outfit. So bloated. I'm wearing low waisted jeans. I'm so bloated because I'm on my period. I don't know why I'm on my period, but I'm on my period. And I'm so bloated. Ice cream. Off we go. Oh, apparently this way. Oh, I recognise this street. It's just so nice here, guys. And we're also going to go back to Starbucks Reserve to get the lemon cake because I'm dying to try it. Biggest enders. How delicious. Is it in here? Starbucks Reserve. This is the menu. I just thought I'd like to show you. This is the drink that Aaron got on the first day. Um, this is the menu. It's so cool in here. Coffee. The coffee, it goes through these poles. Um, so you got a scotch latte, and then I've got a bottle of water. The drink I wanted was a strawberry spritz, and they were sold out. And then I got the lemon cake, which I've been craving since the first day we got here. My hair says it's shit. Is it nice? Is it really hot? That's good. It's the size of my head. Okay. No, give me water. Oh, <laughs> Guys, I, it's water. If I don't have a bottle of water near me, I go into panic. This is a taste test. Really hope it's good. That's a different texture than I was expecting, but that's really good. You wanna try? Try it. Please wanna try it. This is the reality, guys, of how busy it is. When you see people's Instagram photos, it always looks stunning, but this is the reality. It's fucking busy and there's pigeons everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. But it's nice. It's cute. I find another Zara, because the Zara's over here, guys. I don't know if I've already said, but the price difference is crazy. Like, it's so much cheaper, the Zara over here, than it is in the UK. Um, so I want to see if I can get some bits that you can't get in the UK. Yes, I can't afford it, but we aren't going to discuss that right now, okay? Life's too short. Found the Zara. It's gorgeous. It's really, really nice. I mean, I know it's just Zara, guys, but this is actually so stunning. I'm so impressed. So nice. Look, they've got all this, this stuff that I just feel like is not in the UK. Just waking up from a nap. A little bit of um, deja vu. We're back at the same restaurant that we tried to come to last night. Okay, guys, the grandma's making the best stuff. The name of the restaurant, by the way, if you're interested. So nice. I'm really glad we're outside. But I think we're both going for carbonara. So smart though, look, you scan this to get the photos. It's great. This is our food. I got carbonara and so did he. And we got some bread and we've got mozzarella coming and some other bits. But we're gonna dig in. This is the carbonara. We also got a mozzarella ball and this like rice thing. We've got a lot of food going on. Um, this mozzarella ball was 14 euros. But the pasta is quite reasonable, I think. Um, it's like 16 pounds, I think, for this. We've got the tiramisu. How big it is, it looks so good. Obviously, you can't not get tiramisu when you're in Italy, but. Hey guys, okay, so we're back home. At the, I don't know what else to call the hotel home. Maybe you're abroad, or is it just me? Anyways, we're back at the hotel. I've had a shower, I've taken my makeup off, washed my face really well. As you can see, it's different. It's white compared to my neck, but it's fine. I'm in bed, I'm in my boxes, and I am watching Murder Mystery 2 with somebody that's not allowed to be. I'm literally showing your arm. You literally tell everyone that you don't hate me because you act like you hate me. You still wouldn't be on camera, bro. <laughs> tell everyone that you don't hate me. Don't hate you, I just don't want to be on film. Tell everyone you're in love with me. No, I just don't want to be on film, bro.
I'm going to go to sleep, watch the film, and I will talk to you in the morning. Morning, guys. Okay, so we've just checked out the hotel. I... I'm in a really cute outfit today, probably my favourite outfit, apart from I do have tiger bread tan, so I hope no one's too close to my legs. But we are now, it's really, really sunny today, as you can see. Um, we're just going to walk around a bit today. We've just checked out our luggage, um, our flight at like half ten tonight, so we have a lot of time to kill. I like my hair today, but I don't really like my makeup. And I have to keep pulling my skirt down because it keeps rising up. But it's our last day, which is sad. Okay, guys, I know it's not very original, but we have come to LNN because where our hotel is is right next to one. So we thought we'd come and try it out. It's really cute. This is our view. But it's really pretty in here. Look, it's gorgeous. We've left LNN. <laughs> I did forget to show you my food because I have scoffed it so fast and I'm definitely on my period because I ate an entire French toast to myself when it was meant for us to share um, and eggs benedict but I'm gonna put the chair right here it was really good um, and now we're in the shopping centre so I'm trying to get some content in this outfit because I love it but it is it's obviously gorgeous in Milan but the roads are really busy and it, it is just full of people so I am finding it quite hard to take nice content that I like. So, love that for me. It's literally the most gorgeous day. So, so pretty. We've come to a normal Starbucks to get a drink um, because I am dehydrated and I keep getting transfer on my eyelids. I got a venti pink drink. Yum, because can't have caffeine. And I got him an oat shake and espresso and he's already drank it. Safe to say it's not easy to find a public toilet in Milan. I had a bit of a situation. Let's call it that. A situation down there. And um, it needed clearing ASAP. I'm sure you get the gist of what I'm saying. And we were walking and walking and walking. There's literally no public toilets anywhere. So we had to pretend like we were eating at this restaurant. Went to the toilet, which was disgusting disgusting guys it was so gross these toilets and then put my thing on and then left i feel like i'm definitely getting stairs because i'm quite orange but i don't really care lol last time i'm gonna see i don't really know what's going on it's like a protest thing i don't know but i think this is the last time i'm gonna see it which is really really sad we're now trying to find the bus stop. The train station is the biggest train station I've seen in my life. Yeah, we're on the bus. Look at all the tramps there. And we're on the bus. Guys, we're at the airport. So busy. And look how many bright air flights there are. I don't even know if you can see. The nuclear wine at minus like a couple. I'm so tired, I want to take this makeup off so desperately. I'm so tired. I've got chest pains again. And it is a night flight, which freaks me out a bit, I'm not gonna lie. I just wish that my body treated me a little bit better whilst I was here because everything hurts and everything is just going wrong, but it's fine. Um, yeah. Hey guys, so I left you when I was queuing for baggage. As you knew, I was feeling pretty unwell, not great. It's only progressively got worse. Flight was at 10.55, it's now delayed until 12. Two hours delayed because France have airstrike going on for 34 days. I got home at 3 a.m. this morning. It was a fucking long, long night last night. Um, so our flight got delayed by an hour. It was originally two hours and then it went back down to one, which is good. I literally had the best time in Milan. Like, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry if it's really like bitty and cut up and different nights and different me jumping straight to dinner from like 
me being out for lunch like i'm really sorry if it's messy when i remembered to i picked up my camera and was like i need to vlog this so yeah i really hope it's helped maybe with some places to go um i literally had the best time my recommendation is to do three nights my boyfriend actually booked the trip and he booked four which to be fair i did ask for four because i wanted to be away as long as possible out of england but you definitely only need three i would say um because once you've explored the main part of Milan, you can basically do that in a day. And then you go to Lake Como for a day, but you can explore the other villages that are along the lake in Lake Como, which I would have loved to have done. Starbucks Reserve was so good. We went like three times because I just loved it. Um, and obviously the cathedral, the walks, the shops, there's some really cool vintage shops. Um, did buy some cool bits in Zara, which I should have videoed. I don't think I did do a haul for you guys. Really sorry about that. But I did, I literally had the best time. It was so nice. I got so many Instagram photos, guys. If you want to see some sick photo spots for Instagram photos, you need to go follow my Instagram. It's Molly Layton. It's literally just Molly Layton, the same as my YouTube name. You need to go follow me on Instagram because I have the most aesthetic feed coming. I'm so excited to post it all. My boyfriend was a real trooper this whole time. Look at my hands. Ugh disgusting i don't think i actually spoke much about lake homo as much as i wanted to i was actually in a really bad mood that day because i'd just come on my period and it wasn't fun basically get a direct train from the central milan station straight to lake homo um and it's 40 minutes on the train you go to um como savant saint, saint giovanni and it was like a 15 minute walk into the main center of lake homo Oh my god guys it was just beautiful it's the most beautiful place i've probably ever seen we did have a great time we did spend a lot of money i mean we, i say we the boyfriend has spent a lot of money we were there it is actually more expensive than i was expecting you know i would say it's kind of expensive but also we were going to like the viral places you you can literally find italian restaurants on the corner in milan outside the cathedral so reasonable and cheap like the pizzas were literally like 12 euros 14 euros um pasta dishes like there's like loads of really cheap italians around the milan central so you don't need to go to all these really expensive restaurants like at all and i just put out there as a hack in milan is when you get out the airport unless you've booked private transfers and stuff we didn't because i just find them pointless and a waste of money to be honest our plan was to get the train from the airport to the central milan station which was near our hotel there wasn't a train station at the airport i don't think or anyway every time we looked it was like a 20 minute walk away and we were like oh what are we going to do with all our cases we got kind of stressed we looked on uber it was 140 pounds to get an uber from the airport into milan and we were like whoa and then you go outside you literally walk out the like the airport and there's just loads of bus stops so we went and we bought a ticket at the bus ticket office for 12 euros each which came out as like 10 pounds each and it takes you straight 40 minute drive into milan so cheap the cheapest way to get into milan from the airport i really really recommend doing that if i would. hope you've enjoyed this vlog i'm really sorry if it was really bitty like i said i tried my best to just grab my camera whenever i remembered and but I did have the best time. I definitely would go back again with my girlfriends or something. I think it'd be so fun for a little getaway. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to me. Make sure if you want to see my fire feed that you go check out my Instagram at Molly Layton. And yeah, give it a like. We'll see you in the next video, whatever you want that to be. Bye guys.